Peace. Hi guys, I'm going to be showing you how to install the Torch browser today. Um, I picked this from a list of the, the most popular browsers, and that was up in the list there in the top 10. Um, so let's get right into it. Now, as with all of these videos, we'll be starting on Internet Explorer. And if you can't access it on the, on the taskbar here, you can go to your start menu and you can type in INT and there's your Internet Explorer. Perfect. So once you click on your Internet Explorer, you're going to want to navigate with your cursor to the top left to the address bar and delete the entries there and then type in Google. Okay, and we're going to type in Torch Browser and it should be top one, just be super careful if you are in doubt, click on the link that I'm going to put in below. I'll also put down the download folder there so you don't even need to go to the website, you can go straight to the download link. This is the correct one and all you're going to do is click download. Now with Internet Explorer it's going to give you two options, or well three options. We don't want to run this because we don't know if it's safe yet. So we're going to click save, save as, put it into the downloads menu and then click save. Now I've already got it in there so there's no point in me overwriting it but all that happen is it will start saving and downloading. Okay. Let's close down the browser. Uh, I don't know what... Oh, it's just a, a pop-up coming up. So head to the downloads. Oh, I should probably tell you how first. The file explorer down here. Click on that. If it's not there, click on the start menu, type in file, and there we go. Then you want to navigate to the downloads, which is at the top left here, and find the file you just downloaded, which is the torch setup file. So let's take that, stick it on the desktop, and double click. Again, you probably don't see this screen. Um, you click yes or no, you need to click yes to install it. And then some add-ons here. Now I don't want to set this as a default browser, and I certainly don't. Oh no, I keep it as an add-on for the desktop. And then click next. This shouldn't take too long to install. It's not a very big browser. There we go, installation completely completed successfully. Open videos and documents with Torch. No, I would rather not. So I'd keep the normal file explorer, so finish. And let's get rid of the free. Cancel this down. Let's get rid of the free add ons, Just stick them in the bin for now. And the setup file. And then the two links just there. They're all add ons that come from the browser. Then you'll see this new Torch link on the desktop double click it and here is Torch Browser. Torch Browser is very very minimalistic um, there's not a lot going on there, it's more uh, like a tablet if you will, uh, with the way that it works it's quite nice actually, but I still prefer Chrome uh, let's just go to Google, see how that looks like a normal browser with little extras here but that's it, that's how you get Torch Browser thank you for watching and tune in next time for the next browser Peace.